Thank you, Madam Chair, and thanks for holding this hearing. I have questions for each of you, um, and but so if I could get some maybe um, uh, succinct answers, that would be great. But I'm going to talk start with you, um, Dr. Kimball. My colleague, Senator Murkowski, brought up obviously uh, an important aspect of what USGS does. But I wanted to ask you specifically about um, landslides and a recommendation by the National Academy. Um, the National Academies that the USGS publish a landslide hazard mitigation strategy. So that was something that uh, was recommended, but it never received funding. So do you think we need to do that plan? Uh, Senator Cantwell, thank you. Um, and I know that our USGS employees feel very strongly about uh, the uh, landslide work. Um, I think that we do need to continue. We do have a strategic plan for natural hazards within USGS. I think looking at that national plan uh, is going to be important. We have additional funds that we are planning to use for national assessment of landslide prone areas and ultimately to look at the kinds of precipitation events that would trigger uh, landslides and debris flows. Well, I, I think you can realize where I'm coming from after mm -hmm. the Oso-Darrington mudslide right. that uh, not enough is being mm -hmm. done. And so the fact that we did have this recommendation, so you're, so you're committed to doing a plan and you understand that there, we now have an increased risk, whatever you want to call it, but obviously mm -hmm. the change in climate is causing, um, you know, rainfall records that people never anticipated. So it's putting these risks in a higher area, so this LIDAR, laser imaging detection and ranging, is really, you know, essential. Uh, yes, Senator, uh, I recognize that we are committed to going forward with comprehensive LIDAR surveys, uh, and if co uh, confirmed, I will definitely be working with you and other members of the committee to realize this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Lopez, um, we had a chance to talk about the Yakima Basin Project, and in uh, my office, and um, you obviously get the significance of how everybody in the region is working together, Native Americans, environmentalists, farmers, uh, county commissioners. It's almost as if they're giddy with pride at how well they're working together, which is juxtaposed to a lot of other water uh, situations around the uh, country. Yet um, the president's budget doesn't fully reflect what they're requesting for the federal assistance. The state has already put up $137 million. So Will you work to make sure that we get the federal participation that's needed on this project? Thank you for your question, Senator Cantwell. Um, I, I also want to thank you for the opportunity to visit with you a few days ago. And, and um, the, the discussion that we had regarding the Yakima Basin Integrated uh, Plan um, really was demonstrative of the, of the sorts of things that you can do when, when you get everybody uh, together in collaborative processes and bring everybody along, make sure that uh, that that there's a common understanding of the goals. And um, quite often, it it yields win-win uh, type situations. And um, I, I commend you and and all of the participants in this project. It's um, an outstanding example of the the value of those sorts of processes. Um, I recognize that uh, funding on the federal side has been insufficient. I, I do uh, commit that we would uh, I would work with you if confirmed to to try and assure that um, the the federal government can contribute its fair share. Great, thank you very much for that. And Dr. Rug, uh, Rugalabuto, is that the right pronunciation? Thank you for your willingness to serve. We've certainly worked with many of your predecessors. Um, this issue of chemical vapor exposures to Hanford workers is unacceptable. In the last two months, 28 people have become sick or exposed to these vapors, and workers have asked for better access to personal protective equipment. What will you do as secretary to increase the worker's safety at tank farms, and what will you do to make sure workers who suffer radioactive exposure have their medical claims addressed? Thank you for your question, Senator Cowell. Um, I share your concerns regarding the vapor exposure to 10A workers. Uh, no workers should be exposed. Uh, and uh, I understand that the Savannah River National Laboratory is right now conducting an independent study to assess what is the source of those exposures. Um, I myself, I'm a rat worker, so I have suit up and put in a respirator and work. And I certainly recognize that it is a complex job once you're all fully suited and the workers do deserve the best protection equipment that is available 
and access to their records because their records are theirs. Uh, if confirmed, I do not know the very specifics right now of the situation, but if confirmed, I look forward to fully address this issue and work with you and your staff regarding this issue. Thank you.